This is 50.com, DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zion on the bridge to the streets. You know what it is. The Heineken is here, real simple. We, <laughs> you look like you're sick, man. What's going on? I'm, I'm just gearing up. Just gearing up? But you know, right. we, we got a special guest in the morning, man. man. Oh, yeah, man. It's your boy, Lou Got Cash. Lou Got Cash. You got cash? <clears throat> Always got Always cash. Always That's a fact. You got it. <laughs> yeah, he got it for real, for real, man. Yo, Lou Got Cash. I'm excited. You don't do a lot of interviews. No, I don't. Why is that, man? I don't know. Huh? I really don't know. I really ain't. Well, you speak well. You're from New you York. Trying to get into your business. I mean, you're oh, a that's the lifestyle you chose. To that's get the lifestyle you chose. <laughs> I know. That's why I started doing interviews, though. Listen, <laughs> listen. It ain't nothing wrong with telling your chicks you're cheating on them. You, that's what you, <laughs> they don't need to know yeah, that. No, they gotta know that. Right now? <laughs> no, I know. I'm just saying. How you you gotta warn me? them first. How you gonna tell me right now, though? Nah, man. I mean, that's what. If you choose to do that, you're a smart man. I would say cheat on your girl first and let them know. Cheating on you. Nah, I ain't letting her know at all. Why not? She find out her own time. Oh, you're a popular rapper. You put in our music. You come from a legendary family. Oh, yeah. Let's she has to that. respect royalty, B. Yeah. She hip hop royalty that. right now. Yeah, you hip hop royalty she for real. Respect it when she find out. Find out in your own time. Not uh, my time. Yeah, I respect it. That's a fact. Right. So, for those that don't know, um, let them know who your father is. My father pretty loose from the Lost Boys. From the Lost Boys. What, what was that like growing up around that? If you did you do witness I, anything or how? I mean, I didn't really get the. I, mean, I was real young. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the time I got older, everything wasn't. It was what it was. It wasn't what know? it was, right? Yeah. Okay. So who were your influences coming up when you did get into music? Like, when did you first yeah. discover hip hop? I mean, I was younger in the hood and stuff. Of course, Fifth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Wayne, Future. You could you could go far back like Nelly and stuff. Like well, okay, that, that makes sense. Like, that I ain't mad at kinda, that. Nelly did ten million out the gate. So all that stuff kind of like right made me like want to make music. Right. Okay. What about the Dipset? Because you know Wayne and Dip. Yeah, of was, course. Dipset. Yeah. Dip That's a fact. That was, movement. They had a, a, a nice run. Why was Wayne so influential to you? Because you know so, certain times the generation gap don't be understanding. Wayne started the wave. Mm. You feel me? Like the wave. The double cut. Well, mm -hmm. he didn't start double cut. I ain't gonna say he started. Yeah, they're about to kill you in Houston. Like, why? Nah, 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 he, he didn't start it, but right. he popularized he made, it. He made it cool. Yeah, he mainstreamed it. I, I don't do that, but I'm just saying he made it cool. Feel me? Mm -hmm. He made. He painted the auto tune. When Wayne got on auto tune, everybody got on auto tune after Wayne. Mm. Right. It was like Wayne started the way. I like the perspective because you're younger than. All that Wayne started everything. Skinny jeans. If if he didn't start it, he made it cool. You know. What he I mean? made it cool. The rock star vibe. Nobody was doing it to Wayne. Mm, I, I I understand that's where you're coming from. That's a fact. The bands, everything. The band, skateboarding. Yeah, that's true. Everything yeah, he yeah, made it lit. Right. Shit, iconic. Yo, one of my favorite songs, of course, man. You know, make ten. Oh yeah, that's a. You know why I like that right song? There. Huh? Well, Hold on. Like what you said? That's a clapper right there. You know why I like that song? That is real business ethics right there on the humble. That's what real business people would tell you. Save two, I mean, spend two, save eight, yo. Yeah. That's real shit. So when I'm hearing that, I'm like, who's in this corner? I mean, aside from the fact that it rhymes, somebody had to put you on on how to really flip your bread. Yeah, that's right. Or, I, or it was just a lucky guess. I mean, I'm just vibing, man. Yeah, my, yeah. The, the I'm weed. Vibing. I'm just vibing. Yeah. I'm just still vibing, feel me? I'm going through my phone. I just. I vibed out that night. That's what I'm doing in the studio anyway. I just be vibing out. Right. Mm. right. How did you get on the map of getting noticed? Like, um, is, was it easier for you because of your like your background and where you come nah, from? No, nah, no, nah. my background ain't have nothing to do with right. how I came up. You know? Okay. It was like basically just old pieces to the puzzle was kind of right. You know? mm. like, I had self, had my manager. Then I'm from Southside. Nobody popped from Queens in a long time. Right. I think I think Nikki was the last person to blow up from Queens. Like blow up, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you had Chinks. Chinks. But Nikki, that? I'm talking about like blow up, like how Fifth blew up. Nick yeah, blew yeah, up, yeah, yeah. You're right. Plaques, plaques and stuff like that. Right. Unless I mean, Queens want to claim Rich the kid. We could claim Rich. Because he claiming it's I don't know it's 50 50 with him. No, we could claim Rich. But I'm just saying like, but Rich Grind wasn't in Queens. You get know what I'm saying? I know. His grind was Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Right, that's so. I'm talking about like actually. Out in Queens, you know what I'm saying? How how did you link up with Self? Because a lot of people don't know the story, man. My manager had linked me with him. We um, I had made Pipe Down. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, of course. Big record. Right, still, big record. Let's still, still come play on. That record. Yeah. Yeah, right people, uh, uh, yeah, that right there. 
I had made that song and I was in the clubs and stuff. Like every week bugging. Going crazy, me and my man. We was in every club. Standing on the counters. Mm, selling the self, movie. Self was in the spot one night. Like, I guess he was like, who that? Then he brought us up there to the um, radio station. Dope. So we just made it happen from there. Right. You ever, you ever been to, um, this is an off the, rec, off the wall question. You ever been to uh, Mumbai, India? Mm -mm. Your music had, you know why? Because I was over there playing that record and they loved that shit over there. I'm piped down? India. Yeah. In India. India. Where they India. eat rats. Yeah. <laughs> The real shit. Be they eat rats out there, don't we? Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, he said that. Not it's a I fact. They don't back. eat cows. They eat rats. Listen, I want to come back. Hey, to I'm not offensive. Question: Is there anybody you want to work with that you haven't worked with? Uh, um, you, you, you've been doing who can I see you working with? Tell Fip I need a track. You need a track. Okay. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Get the strap. Hey, that's Southside. Get the strap. Yeah. Call yeah. The Southside. Oh, you're Drake. Drake. Yo, you think it's a difficult balance where, you know, you come from a town where it's, you know, we got spitters, lyrics, mm -hmm. but you grew up in an era, it's melodies, vibes, tone, a setting. So, you know, do you feel the pressure of being able to do both? Or you're like, fuck it. Ain't no pressure. Mm. Niggas ain't gonna pressure me to do nothing. Nah, nah, even, you know how some dudes like, nah, keep it New York, keep it authentic, nah. nah. I mean, Hit the regions. Pay for that shit then. <laughs> Pay for that, when I make a song like that, Make it big as my melodic songs, and I listen to you. You, you know what? what? I, res I respect that. Like, otherwise, because I, I made shit like that. People just they like it for the time, and it's out. Mm. Go back to with the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, that so you consciously just make music for catering to people that want that type of style, basically. I cater to what I like. But you, that's what I'm asking. Do you like? No, no, no. I'm saying like the type of music I listen to is what you is make. what I make. Okay, got gotcha. mm -hmm. you. I got like, you. I'll be in the car, I'm listening to something. So who do you listen to? Who, who are you listening to? I listen to, of course, Drake. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense, everyone. To all the young niggas that's out right now. Okay. Kodaks, Uzi, the Bridge the Kid, okay. mm -hmm. Migos, Baby, Lil Travis, ba got Lil Baby, Gunna. Gunna, yeah. I listen to everybody. Okay. Now that would be, oh man. Damn, that's crazy. You, you know, Lou got Cash, Tra Travis Scott, Gunna, and Lil Baby. That's a banger right there. Nigga. Yeah, that's in the charts. Nigga, yeah. self gonna be like, I need all of that shit. <laughs> yeah, like, sign here with the publishing. <laughs> no, I don't know shit. But what's it like being in um Gwinnin', man? You got Dream Doll, you got Mariah Lynn, you got yourself. Like, how does that work? Cause y'all all young, y'all all active, y'all all getting it. We you, all just got our own lane, so mm. we just we just do what we do. We link up time to time, we track and stuff like that. But for the most part, we just we do our own thing. Right. So everything, everything just add up. We don't get in each other way or nothing like that. Right. What is that lady action like? What's that groupie action like? I know it's crazy. Ladies love you. <laughs> they, love you. Lou. they love you. They love you. What's the craziest thing happened to you dealing with female on, on a road or just at a show? What's the extreme somebody went to to get to you? Mm. I don't really know. I don't be knowing like what they actually do before they well, get what, to me because my friends. Right. Yo, <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't know what be happening. As they should. Like, if they get to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, right. it's called the screening process. I'm not mad at it. Like sometimes. I'm unlinkable though. So if you link me, you special. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I ain't mad at that. Any any, any like celebrity women you want to say hello to? Come on, man, you got a hit list. Somebody tell, um, what's her name? Tell Ariana Grande, I said, what's up? Ariana Grande. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I don't know, Big Sean gonna like that. That is girl. That is girl. What's she, what's she, oh. Wasn't she the one, that, the Mac Miller thing? Yeah. Mac Miller. So yeah. That Damn, she got some fire Sean pussy there. No yeah, you're right. Big Sean don't count no more. No, he don't she count. had two after him and they engaged all types of shit. Yeah. Tell her I said, what's up? What, what was going on with that music? Uh, I just dropped that little verse. Okay. We're going yeah. crazy out here, man. We got a lot of streaming, streaming pretty well. Who's on that? Other than yourself, obviously. Uh, Jay Critch. Okay. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a Trippy good one. Trippy Red. Trippy Red. How you got a song with Trippy Red? He don't do a lot of songs with people. I caught him. I caught him. That, he was in New York mm -hmm. um, last year. Like, I, was, I think like November. Mm -hmm. Last year, November, he was in New York. Him and 6 9 had what they had going mm -hmm. on or whatever. So he was with the, he was with my guys. So it was mad at him. Okay, I get what you're saying. So they hit me like, yo, we gonna come to the studio. Cause he so, only, who, how so many? He just pulled up, we made a track. I know he got a song with 6 9 obvious in a couple. Now he got like, a he, couple features. 
but it's not a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's that's why when I hear certain names, I'm like, I, I like hearing the energy. I'm like, ooh, what, what's the energy like being signed to Republic, man? Because you know you've been hitting the pavement now. Nah, they jack me at Republic. They love me up there. If I, I go up there, I kick it with everybody at the label and stuff. Mm -hmm. We chilling out. I rock with Republic hard. Because you know, like your generation, people like a lot of young cats, they scared to get signed. They just want to go independent and everything. Like, what made you be like, I could trust a label? You gotta have that bag to be in this. Oh, place. well, yeah. Mmm. Mm. I ain't had that bag. No, that's real shit. Real shit. Nah, I respect that. Like, you, I, the reason why I'm asking you any to like try to play you, I think cats in your age demographic that's trying to get it. Hearing you saying things like that will help them be like, yo, you know, Lou is spitting the real for us, man. Fact, unless you got that bag, you can't go independent unless you got that bag. What, why is the bag so important for a cat you that's doing... You need money to do everything. Do anything. Thank you. Well, you gotta Such know as... Somebody, you know? Even sometimes you know somebody, you're going to have to... You don't need brand, to you know compensate them. Well, what, what, like, without getting too nosy, what's some standard necessities you think the bag is needed to get an artist functioning? I don't want, you know, I don't want to give you this, but you like for kids. Radio needed. Mm-hmm. Um, you need, you need a lot of like bloggers and promo. Mm. Oh, that's not free either. Mm-hmm. Features, some of those are mm -hmm. free. Traveling, that's not free. Nothing free. Speaking of that, pussy free, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> And sometimes you gotta pay for the flight. You gotta pay for the price. You gotta pay that. What are you paying? Like, like, like Max B used to right. say, you gotta pay that ticket, B. Right. <laughs> like, what's the best advice your pops give, has given you or gives you currently? Or? He's just like, stay focused. So mm -hmm. you don't get distracted. Stuff like that. Uh, pay your bills on time. Yo, <laughs> respect. That, you know what? That's a good point. I got a, I got a question. Yeah. Have you ever been pressured to make music like your pops group? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you come from the most part. You, you got to do that. I don't pressure to make nothing. Right, OK. Well, I, respect I respect that. Make what I want right. to make, for me. Some people may expect him to be a certain way because of, you know, who his pops is. I'm fine. I just make what I want to make when I'm in the store. OK. You might have to make a New York Knicks anthem or something. A man. Knicks anthem? Maybe yeah. Do something, maybe they'll win. Uh, my bad. They've been trash your whole Knicks life. We've yeah, <laughs> never been a Knicks fan. <laughs> <laughs> what team but you rocking with? I rock with Paul Zingas, though. That's the. Yeah, yeah. Zing, the Zinger. Zingas, Zingas is, he's a uh, beast. What team I'm rocking with? Wherever Kevin Durant go, that's where we at. He might come here, yo. That's where we at. <laughs> Durant, nah, nah, Durant ain't going to the Knicks. He's not coming here. He, no, he might. Lose. Nah, he's not going to the Knicks. I know. I, I already spoke to Durant. <laughs> really? You spoke to Durant? I know his plans, man. He told me. Nigga, Durant tell is, us off camera, B. Durant is not coming here, bro. He told me what he's he doing. He told me what he's doing. Yeah. Nah, he ain't telling me. Oh, because I, I, you never know. He Durant be destroy his out. legacy if he come here. He no, he won't. What? He has three rings of I me mean, too, but he about to get a he third one. Play he good. Nah, Yo, you crazy. You crazy. Let me tell you Durant something. Come to the Knicks, he going to the playoffs. Yeah. Any First Durant. round, they out of here. Nah, hell no. Hell no. Nigga, Kyrie. Durant for Zingas and Hardaway Jr. They'll beat. And Knox. They'll beat the. Knox is a problem. They could beat the Wizards. Just got hurt. Right, it could be, there's a couple teams they probably could beat. I don't know. Just Yo, them three. We, we was having a debate who's who's been more impactful to the NBA, AI or Steph Curry. I was going with Steph. You gotta be. I don't, AI was different though. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. AI have you. It's different. You changed the dress code, AI. You know? This is so what? Because now Bloods and Crips could play basketball. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> he, changed, he changed the game too, though. He, he changed so the crossover. Was, yeah, he All that, that's him. him. Nigga, a three-pointer worth more than a crossover. Yeah, that's a fact. And Curry, <laughs> let me tell you why Curry is more, though. Because Curry got rings. That really means everything to, to Luke yeah. People saying be because A winner is everything. Got one yeah, ring. I respect. A winner is everything. Yeah. But now, I will say this, and, and my boy JB said this. Had AI got that one ring, that would have been like that one, six. That one. That would have been like, yo, for life. Let me tell you why it would have been like that, though. Because AI never had a crazy team. Cause he's a selfish nigga, B. He's always back. been just like it was just him. Yo, he played with lit niggas. He just got no, rid of was, all of them. It was good money, but there wasn't stars. like he didn't have Shaq. He had nigga, he had Melo. He had. Nah, he had Melo. Melo had Melo had AI. Yeah. Yeah, but AI, AI was AI wasn't in his prime when he was. was AI was thirty when he played with Melo. As I said, he wasn't like nigga. So thirty. Down. Every lit nigga won in their thirties. B. Jordan was winning in his thirties. Hakeem, Shaq. Kobe might Kobe ended around 28. When AI retired though. You're not thinking about that. He, he retired 30, like a, but when did he retire? About 36. 
Hell no. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I didn't retire in 2013, 14. Nah, he was yo. Hey, did the Nuggets, and now he went to the Grizzlies, and that was saying. over. No, no, he did he Nuggets, over Grizzlies, over Pistons, and Sixers twice. Melo retired in like 2000. I mean, AI wasn't in the league in 2010. 2010. So that's 14 years. So he around 35. AI wasn't in the league in 10. Hold on, we we got Google. <laughs> you right. might be right. But, so you feeling it's 50-50 on them too? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, we, we, yo, listen. So let's check it. If anybody want to get in contact with you, get you uh, drop on the bag, get some features from you. Okay, how can uh, they do that? You can follow me on Instagram mm -hmm. at Lugar Cash. You can follow me on Twitter at Lugar Cash. I don't got nothing else. You want my bio, the phone number, to my manager in there. If you want to book some shows? You right though. Anything you want. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know your shit. 2010, he was yeah, gone. 34. Out of here. And Kobe that ring. Yeah. <laughs> he said when Kobe went. Yeah. All right. Lou got cash. Cash. Yeah, man. Y'all ain't yeah. know, man. We in the building.